Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton and on my YouTube channel, you can find all kinds of cryptocurrency content, such as cryptocurrency news, uh, reviews, my own portfolio, tutorials, and much, much more. If that sounds interesting to you, I would say please subscribe by clicking that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all of that. So in today's video, we are going to talk about new names that Coinbase just released just a few minutes ago. So I'm making this video straight after that with like 19 new potential cryptocurrency listings for coinbase but before we start i want to do a shout out to the sponsor of this video which is bitpanda pro bitpanda pro is a secure and fully regulated european exchange for crypto to field markets bitpanda established back in 2014 and has since that time been offering secure straightforward and easy access to the cryptocurrency markets to over 1.2 million users now, with Bitpanda Pro, it wants to offer the same service to more experienced traders, trading bot users, and other advanced clients like institutional investors. More and more crypto to fiat trading pairs are currently being added to the exchange. Bitpanda Pro has made itself a convenient, secure, and trustworthy exchange to onboard or cash out fiat easily. So yeah, Bitpanda Pro likes to brand itself as the European Coinbase Pro. And then you also have like the platform Bitpanda, which is like equal to Coinbase. Uh, so yeah, it's funny to talk about Coinbase in this video and then uh, promote like Bitpanda Pro. But of course, Coinbase is American and Bitpanda and Bitpanda Pro are big European exchanges. So if you want to buy cryptocurrencies with your euros, your Swiss francs, your British pounds, and very soon your Turkish lira as well, you can do that on Bitpanda. Panda Pro, which is the more advanced platform of Bitpanda. There are links provided in the description down below. All right, before we get started, I want to have a quick look at the crypto markets because it's again, Ethereum is literally guiding the entire altcoin market with almost 7% up in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is only 1% up in the last 24 hours. And we can see that other large caps are also up more than Bitcoin overall. So even Bitcoin Cash is up, even, you know. Um, Binance Coin is doing pretty well. Chainlink is 5.5% up as well. And if we have a look further to uh, the top 50, let's say, um, it's a little bit divided. I mean, like the major cryptocurrencies are showing more strength than the smaller cryptocurrencies. But of course, the last several weeks, smaller cryptocurrencies, the mid caps, the low caps performed better than the majors. So it isn't surprising to me that Ethereum is really guiding the uh, majors in first place and also like the other altcoins as well. So only 10 days ago ethereum was still trading at 240 dollars so it's up with almost 50 percent in just 10 days ethereum is really finally taking off and we talked about ethereum so much in the last several months we did some predictions it didn't do a lot but right now it's literally like guiding the entire crypto market so it's really really cool to see all right before we have a look at the new list that coinbase published a few minutes ago i want to have a look at the previous list first so coinbase released this article right here on june 10th that's not even like two months ago um with 80 potential new listings and uh, you can guess how many of them really got listed uh, after this uh, medium article was published and literally it's just two of them like they had 18 names in this list you can see them here like ave aragon r wave banker compt uh, so compound digibyte horizon life peer new cipher numerare keep network origin protocol ren render token sia coin scale network synthetics and v chain so 18 names and only two of them 
got listed and the first one that got listed was maker just a few days after that only one day after that it basically it got listed on coinbase and then a few days later two weeks later a compound comp was also listed on coinbase but that was it i mean like only two out of 18 really got listed and now you can ask yourself what happened to the other 16 well they literally just got wiped off the list i mean they probably looked into all 18 of them they like listed comp Pound and maker and all the rest the 16 others are now denied they are not getting onto the new list as well they're simply denied so from this list i personally owned two and that is uh, ren and v chain and they both got denied they both got rejected uh so no coinbase listing for ren or v chain which i find of course very unfortunate there was a third listing though that was not between the 18 names in this article published june 10th but the third listing in the last month was Algorand so two weeks ago suddenly out of nowhere Algorand was also listed on Coinbase nobody expected that and the price of Algorand uh, shot through the roof I mean like it went up with 30% in just one day so uh, yeah Algorand I'm personally holding Algorand so at least one of my holdings uh, was getting listed on Coinbase in the last month but it's weird I mean like 16 got uh, rejected got denied two got listed and then suddenly there was like another listing that was not even on on the, the previous list that they published all right now let's have a look at the new list that they just published a few minutes ago and this is how it looks like so as you can see 19 new cryptocurrencies that coinbase is going to investigate and potentially list some of them but like i showed you in like the previous uh, list that they published not a lot of them are really going to make it to coinbase so from the 19 names that are right now um published in this article only a few will probably make it to Coinbase. And I'm wondering which ones it is going to be. Uh, personally, I only hold like one of the 19 and that's actually not a lot. Um, I only hold one and that is this one right here. So fetch.ai, but let's have a look at the other 18 names. So in alphabetic order, Ampleford, Band Protocol, Balancer, Blockstack, Curve, Fetch.ai, the one I own, Flexa, Coin, Helium, Hedera, Hashgraph, Kava, Melon, Ocean Protocol, Pexels Gold, Reserve Rights, TBTC, The Graph, Teta, UMA, and WBTC. And apart from the one that I own, like Fetch, um, there are a few ones that are really on my personal watch list, and these are Hedera Hashgraph. I find that a very interesting project. I also reviewed it here on my channel. Reserve Rights, I also find very interesting and ocean protocol especially it is like a very very interesting project and i also going to review um, ocean protocol it is on my list but uh, yeah they are on my watch list but i didn't pull the trigger for these ones yet so i only own one from this list another thing i want to mention um immediately i noticed when when i saw this article when i saw the list of new um cryptocurrencies that are going to look into it for a potential listing on coinbase the first thing i noticed was that these are all small caps or most of them are small caps i mean there is only one that is in the top 50 cryptocurrencies so that is ample for that's the only one then we have a few ones that are uh, i think three or four that are at the top 100 so from 50 to 100 and all the rest so that are like 14 or 14 or 15 i don't know how many there are between 50 and 100 but all the rest so 14 or 15 are not even in the top 100 so coinbase is currently looking into smaller cryptocurrencies and that is very remarkable if you compare it to their strategy that they had until like a half a year ago until half a year ago coinbase only listed like uh, big cryptocurrencies uh, only the ones in the top 30 let's say uh, but right now i think coinbase has the feeling that they need to change their strategy that they feel like some other platforms are overtaking them they are moving faster and i think coinbase feels like they also need to move faster and i think this is the main reason why they are first of all listing more cryptocurrencies because i mean like last year and the year before that only a handful of cryptocurrencies were getting listed in in that year so not a lot of listings happened on coinbase so first 
first of all they're um, like uh, listing more cryptocurrencies and the second thing is that they uh, they are looking into smaller cryptocurrencies and that is very very remarkable so you see that coinbase is really like changing their strategy um, of how they can keep up the growth of the platform because of course coinbase is still the absolute number one worldwide i think um but there are a lot of platforms that are currently like taking away small percentages of that dominance from coinbase and they feel that so they know that they need to change something and i think that is the main reason why we're seeing stuff like this anyway 19 potential new listings on coinbase in my opinion a few ones are very interesting i own one so please coinbase if you're watching this video please list fetch uh, i love the project uh but yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below which ones you own from all the names that are now released by coinbase and that is it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if so please give it a like i always appreciate that and if you're new to the channel again please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all latest cryptocurrency news reviews my own portfolio tutorials and much much more i thank you for watching and i see you next video cheers bye bye